So when you think of <clears throat> automation or the opportunities of automation, there's task automation. So this is the, you know, the the Kirk said um, from Forrester, it's like the five clicks, five steps, five um, uh, kind of simple tasks that we are looking at. That's kind of the, the task automation, all the boring little fingers and toes automation. That's the, the big part we see here. And then we have process automations. We have, here we have more handovers between um, people and robots and even different groups. And then actually you come more into the strategic ones, which basically are the company-wide digitization or transformation projects, which really you know, make a strategic difference. So <clears throat> if you think of process automation and the opportunities in that kind of pyramid, the very, very important ones, of course, are the top ones. But what we're seeing is that more customers are actually you know, they're trying or they're starting on a, technic a tactical level. So kind of where the middle is. Um, very often, it's, they're struggling actually to see the top half, the most strategic ones, because that's far bigger. That m even includes to think about a digital transformation. And the bottom-up task automation is something where they say, oh, they are too small tasks to really kind of care about. So, you know, where do we make, make the, the big impact? Um, and this is kind of um, how we see um, the kind of automation pyramid of opportunities uh, looks like. So the top ones are typically driven with um, the big GSIs together and, and UiPath, of course, to kind of drive and achieve the, uh, the big kind of valuable um, impacting savings or uh, improvements or even new services. But the top ones are the ones, uh, the bottom ones are the ones that only the vendor can actually drive with technology that is so easy to use that it's really easy for everyone to record themselves and create their first automation and actually really do these fingers and toes and control them also themselves, which is also very interesting. So both kind of meet in the middle. So when we look at this from a kind of value bottom-up automation perspective, so as I mentioned, the company-wide automations are the top, the top part here. These are, the, from a value perspective, the big ones. But there's a load of automations and much more from scope perspective that are on the bottom ones, which are on the, on the right side much more opportunities that very often are not taken. So what we want to do with our technology is basically, as I mentioned, so you take those tasks that you can automate and enable a technology so that normal users, not technical users, business users are able to actually you know, create their own automations and then being able to share this, get it into a kind of a controlled environment by IT um, and then move from basically uh, a personal task, share that, the others can use the same task, fully automated, and then you can combine those into you know, larger, into kind of processes, and from there you can, you can move up into an entire service delivering a service level, a service level bound, end-to-end, -end, very complex picture of, of automations. What we're doing here is basically we're driving we're driving automation upstream. We're bringing it from the employee, from the uh, normal business user. If you think of all the large um, transformation programs, the challenge and uh, bringing it into scale is, is in, in fact, the human factor. Is you have to apply change management. You have to think about all those factors. But if you could give them a, a tool that is so easy to use, so powerful, that it encourages actually to, A, learn something new, empower you to do more, and to be much more productive. And then by doing that, you're actually creating all those automations that then later on can you know, be built up to a, a real uh, kind of company-wide uh, uh, service-level bound solution.